Oh, His Majesty's finally got out of bed. Hello, Sergeant. What to do? You catch a bus? Sir. Reckon he found his lunch in that stuff? There was no bait found at the scene. So you're discounting poison? Then? No, I'm not discounting anything, Tessa. I'll uh, have to wait for the autopsy results. However, I will send off the um, food wrappers for analysis. As mm. um, far as the animals go, again, I'm waiting on the autopsy results. Oh, that stinks. Don't touch Hayden. I'm still to process that for uh, fibres. Fisk, have you got anything on his personal history? Any... Yes, it was all in the airline bag. There is a wallet. Douglas Burney, born 1941, September 16th. Makes him 56. Yeah, look close to 70, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, indeed. Anything else, Fisk? Uh, this is a photo D. Yeah. Show the photo to the detectives, will you? Looks like I was taken in America uh, by the look of the car. Looks like about 20 years ago. I'm going to blow it up so you can get the state on the number plates. Could be some help in tracing the sun. Yeah. Lancelot? Yes. Yeah. Detectives Hayden and Vance, Constable Suzerain, Dr. Imogen Soames. May I present my sister? Dr. Lois Fisk. I'm the principal of Greenfields. You Lance's sister? That's correct. Elder sister, Imogen. Eldest sister, Lancelot. Yes, I stand corrected, and thank you very much for reminding me, Lois. Imogen, humble apologies. As I'm sure you're aware, I have a conflict of interest here. I have hand-picked replacement. He'll be here shortly. Uh, Dr. Fisk has uh, assembled everybody outside the recreation room. Stump, you might like a back sweep, that, that sector there. Sorry? I'm concerned you missed a spot. Just, just back sweep that sector there. I have swept it twice, sir. Stump, I'm trying to offer you the fruits of my experience. There's no need to be defensive. I'm not being defensive, sir. I'm relieved. Just back sweep the area, would you? <laughs> sir, could you clear the area, please? Beg your pardon. You're not officially part of the investigation. Would you clear the area? Please. He said his mother used to sing this to them when they were young, yeah? The guy's crazy. She gave them up at birth. How'd you go with the woman from welfare? Oh, apparently, they were devoted to each other. He spent his childhood in and out of hospital. She went right along with him. Came catatonic every time they tried to separate them, so in the end, they didn't try. Born evil. Yeah, well, not everyone's had a happy childhood. No, your race has got nothing to do with it. Rubbish. Nobody escapes their childhood. They were born evil, I uh, Nature versus nurture. Yes, it's a very old argument. It is possible that they heard the lullaby while they were inside the womb. Oh, yes, that'd be right. I used to listen to old Jolson. No, 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 it's possible. The opposite occurs. What? Yeah, there's, there's, there's uh, an Amazonian... Uh, Indian tribe, they have a lullaby. Anthropologists recorded and analysed it. The sound pattern is the sound that a baby would hear inside the womb. Of course, it raises the real question, which is, how do women of a primitive tribe, without the use of modern technology, know how to duplicate intrauterine noise? I need a drink. Me too. 